Hi, I'm Rishi Hasra, and I'm a sophomore at Skyline High School of the Issaquah School District, and today we'll be taking a look at smart water meters. So before we get into the details, let's set a scene. Imagine this house here is our hypothetical home, and this is the home's private water service line, and to the right of it is the public water service line. We can see the property line here dividing those two sectors. Everything to the right of that line is the municipality's responsibility, and everything to the left is ours. Now that we've outlined the boundaries, let's talk about the water. Water is flowing in from your service provider, and it flows in under your street, past your water meter, which is probably located around here, and right into your home. With that scene in mind, let's turn to the actual meter. Here's what the lid of a water meter typically looks like, and you've probably noticed one in your front lawn. It's pretty simple, and it has a section in the center you can usually lift up to take a closer look at the meter itself. And this is an image of my water meter. This image here has two of them because sometimes your neighbor's meter might be located in the same area as yours. And the meter closer to your home is generally yours. If you want to verify that it's yours, you can compare this number on top of the water meter to the number on your water bill. I encourage you to look occasionally at your meters just to make sure they're all in good shape. And now that we've gotten a nice visual of this, let's explore the functionality of water meters. A water meter collects data regarding your water usage by measuring how much water exactly passes through this valve here. Water goes below the meter and passes out this valve towards your home. Water meters are useful to your service providers as it helps them charge you appropriately, but the data that the meters gather can also help you manage and conserve your water to reduce your water bill. But before we get into the water management side of things, let's take a moment to compare traditional water meters to smart ones. So here we have a normal water meter, and data collected by this kind of a meter needs to be communicated physically by a team of meter readers who gather data from each household water meter. Now, as you can probably tell, going from meter to meter to gather data is very tedious. It necessitates hours of unnecessary travel and, as a result, causes carbon pollution. But smart water meters can help. To find out how, we'll have to determine exactly what makes a regular meter, like this one, smart. So how exactly is a smart water meter different? Well, while a smart water meter measures water flow just as any other water meter would do, the smart water meter communicates these water readings to the supplier every hour through a series of low radio signals, eliminating the need for meter readers to visit each meter individually, and therefore eliminating the unnecessary carbon pollution that comes as a result of that. Besides this direct environmental benefit, however, smart water meters can help you personally as well. To understand how, let's take a quick look at the data the smart water meter collects. Here's a graph that the smart water meter produced for my family's water usage in cubic feet over the course of 2020. With smart water meters, you can see monthly patterns and learn about your family's typical water consumption through different seasons. You can use graphs like this to then detect any irregular activity and discover leaks in your household water systems. The graph also projects your next monthly water bill up at the top right, and you can save money with your smart water meter by finding leaks and you can see this number gradually go down. The average American household leaks 90 gallons or more each day, and fixing these leaks can save you up to 10% on your water bill. If you have smart water meters, you can even see your hourly water usage. By emitting radio signals each hour, smart water meters convey this data to the system for you to see in just a few days. This particular graph here is my home's water usage from a week ago. There are quite a few stories I can tell just looking at it immediately. For one, these sharp spikes around midnight are embarrassingly my fault. It's my midnight shower, and it's also the time most dishes are washed in my home, so the volume of the water makes sense. There's another spike here around 7pm that dips down until about 10, and that's for dinner prep. Besides those two spikes, however, everything else seems quite normal. My family is generally asleep here from 3 a.m. to 9, then people start waking up and we can see our water usage going up correspondingly. And then around 3 to 6 p.m. it's pretty much guaranteed that someone's taking a nap. This is my family's dormant time, so we can see the water usage is pretty low and level. Sometimes graphs like this can have significant irregularities, and in those cases there's very likely some kind of a leak. Let's take a look at one of the most common ones, the toilet. If you have a leaky toilet, you could be wasting upwards of 100 gallons daily, and that's the equivalent of flushing your toilet 25 times. Fortunately, toilet leaks are easy enough to detect. Here's how to check. You can request a toilet leak detection kit from the Cascade Water Alliance or your water district, or you can simply put a drop of food coloring into the tank. If the color shows up in the bowl within 10 minutes, then you have a leak. Fortunately, my toilet here didn't have one, and you can see the dye remains in the tank, but not in the bowl. 
In toilets, the most common source of the leak is this flapper here. It's made of rubber, and every time you flush, the chain is lifted upwards. Understandably, this wears out the rubber flapper occasionally. Uh, but replacing the flapper is pretty easy and should take care of most leaks. But how do you know when to check for these leaks? And that is where smart water meters come into play once again. Let's take another look at this graph my smart water meter produced. If you notice significant water usage overnight in this range, when no one in your household is awake or active, that's a strong sign that there's a leak somewhere, and you should check your toilets right away. If you're wondering how to access these graphs I've been showing throughout the video, but for your own water meter, it's pretty simple. If you're served by the Sammamish Blento water, you probably already have a smart water meter. And all that's left for you to do is download the MySP Water app. And you can do this by scanning the QR code or visiting the URL on screen to get more information regarding the desktop site or the mobile apps. If you aren't served by the Sammamish Plateau water and your city hasn't followed the smart water meter movement, I encourage you to write a letter to your local government or water district, urging them to rapidly advance towards a sustainable future by investing in smart water meter technology. Thank you.